Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, it's Upmaxim again and I am here in this video to talk about repeated recipes. So I'm gonna explain what I mean by that and which ones to use and what to ignore. And first I want to apologize for making these videos so late, uh, but this punished me more than you guys because I lost a lot of views, a lot of subscribers that I could have got if I made it earlier, but I had my issues. I'm sorry again, I apologize and I'm trying to make up for it by staying up all night and doing these videos to catch up. And let's talk about this. Okay, so uh, what I mean by repeated recipes. So these things down here are the secret recipes. They were not revealed to you at first their names and stuff. You could go and check my Discord or check my other video or you can now check it here. These are the recipes for these things. Why are some of them purple? Why are some of them orange? The orange ones are guaranteed to work and they drop the, uh, sorry, they drop the orange exotic decor chests. The purple ones are not guaranteed to work and what can happen is that when you do them you can get normal rewards. Normal rewards meaning these top seven things. These are the repeated recipe rewards. The seven tiers of the re repeated recipe rewards. Everyone is asking me how do I get the Thunderbomb fireworks? What is the recipe for this? So I'm gonna tell you now uh, but I will also tell you if you should even try to get them because the answer might surprise you. Uh, the answer is actually no, in my opinion at least. So because as I said these things can fail and uh, or well you know fail you can get crap if stuff and you don't aren't guaranteed to get the secret thing but let's take a look basically how it worked in the Thanksgiving. It should work similarly it should work like basically depending on how many ingredients you use, you have different chances for these different things. But even on the highest ones, it's like 1 to 2% only. However, in the current one, this is how it looks according to some people, the current one, but I'm not sure if they didn't just use the things from the previous one, because I actually believe, don't believe that it works the same way. The difference is that pretty much... <laughs> If you look at the rewards from the things uh, here, there is some stuff that I wrote here about the 1616, 3030, 30, and their drop rates, and like things. I'm sorry, I'm a bit tired now. <laughs> and the point is that basically these things, the purple ones, actually have got better drop rates than the normal things from that range. For because, for instance, if you do 1515 15, or even 1717, 1818, you are gonna get a lot of these level one crappy repeated recipes and I maybe should have actually made another table for the repeated recipes but never mind that you get a lot of eco-friendly stuff even if you do 2020 or 1919 however if you do 1616 you don't get a single one so I believe the way they did it this time is that the purple things are actually the suggested things you should be doing if you're doing repeated recipes however as I said the higher ones Still don't guarantee that you will ever get the, you know, well for one they can fail, they don't, might not even show you the secret recipe, uh, as actually happened to me with the 100 hundred one one for 4 or 5 times in a row, so I wasted 800 or 1000, you can check my other video, so that was a complete waste because I actually got very crappy stuff from that, I actually even got the sparklers once and the common fireworks like 3 times, 2 or 3 times and 1 willow, but it was still not worth it whatsoever because that's the same drops I get from the 1616. As I will show you in this video, and as I showed there in the other video, I think uh, I might actually do one more 100-100 just, just as a last try, but no, I'll just keep it until the end, actually. I'll keep it until the last 100-100 I have, uh, basically depending if I actually need it for uh, buying something, so I don't actually run out of them. Uh, you know, so I don't get stuck like with missing 10 of them or something, for instance. Uh, that's what I would actually suggest you to do as well. Just ignore all the purple ones except the cheap ones. And basically what the community has agreed on is that the 1616 is the best thing. So you can just ignore trying to hunt that uh, fountain, sorry, these thunder bomb fireworks or the fountain. Yes, this thing can be pretty great, of course. And this... It's also, it's, it's pretty great stuff, but the drop rates are so low and you can still get such crappy stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll actually show you, screw it, I'm just gonna show you one last time. Oh no, never mind, I'm not. <laughs> uh, this is like, this is so frustrating actually, it's like, no, 
not, not, not that we're gonna do it. And the reason why it's 1616 and not, for instance, 3030, which is something that other people tried as well, is if you look at it here, I made the calculation here from a, like a result sheet of some guy who did it like 693 times, 1616, and like 50 times, 3030. Uh, and basically what you find out, if you look at this, is that while yes, 3030 has a little bit, bit, bit better drop rate than 1616, you've got a bit higher percentage of the better things. Here you can have got 12.5% of comets, which is pretty nice. And they can actually give you gold charts, not that I actually want them, but they can. Which might be nice for a lot of people, of course. Uh, the thing is that you are still paying, uh, because you're paying almost double the materials, you are still paying uh, 17 materials per knot instead of 13.5 per this small of course it's a small sample size but to be honest i think so are the other things most of them you know the whale people don't really have time to do this kind of stuff so yeah so what i would suggest is just do all the orange ones if you have the materials theoretically if you don't really care about if you don't really care about the orange sorry about the orange exotic decor chests and you actually want the knots, you want to get that decor, you want to get that base skin, you're trying to get it as free to play or almost free to play, you might even want to ignore some of the more expensive orange ones. You could ignore the one which costs 200 and uh, 555 or the 120, 120 or the 48 plus 200. But they still have got pretty decent rewards. They are still giving you, you know, they are still giving you like some, you know, knots here. Although yes, not nearly as many knots. <laughs> it's not nearly, not nearly as many knots as in the sixteen sixteen. If you did that, because of course you can do like fifteen or sixteen sixteens in that space. You know, sorry, ten, okay, eight or whatever, eight sixteen sixteens for the same amount. And each of these sixteen sixteens has like two point thirty five uh, average. As per the thing that I actually shown here, and I cannot see where it is here, 2.36 average uh, knots per a 1616 uh, repeat, and you can see it actually here as well. This is uh, also some. This is some results from another guy who did 8k of each materials, and he did it just 1616 over and over, and he averaged 131 knots per hundred uh, per 1000 materials, which it's pretty nice. It's actually even better than what I have here, I think. No, it's not. It's pretty much the same. But he had plus the chests. Uh, I already count the chests. He had that plus chests. So go do 1616. Ignore going, ignore chasing that thunder bomb. Unless you just really want to RNG, of course. If you really want to RNG, you can. And yeah, there has also been some special advice like opening the lunar chests 3x3. Three but as you can see, I don't think it's really that good an idea. I actually tried this a lot and it didn't help me whatsoever. Some people actually posted three, like, hundred, hundred not rewards in a row. But, you know, just some people are lucky. Some people are not. So that's how it is. Uh, it's generally, I think it's a bit better to open all of them at the same time. Because in this game, it's just, this game is sometimes ridiculous. And doesn't like follow the drop rates at all unless you actually open enough of them. I think actually nine is sometimes good, but still, okay. I think it's better to do all of them at the same time. Yeah, you can just just save all of them and then do all of them at the same time. And if you care about my opinions and stuff, uh, I would suggest that because we have got one extra day to spend the things in the Mountain Academy store, you just get all your resources today, use all of them, get all the knots, and then you can have another 24 hours to think about what you want to buy here, if you're not sure. And I'll be making a video about that as well, but I'll probably wait until after reset because I'm so toast and I really need to sleep. So, with that, uh, without, and without further ado, I'm gonna say uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, please like and subscribe and share, and until next time, have a wonderful day.